Hey guys, so if you guys have an above ground pool and you guys have a pump, this might happen. So this is a filter part. It attaches to this part. Um, if it snaps like this, like I did it, you're gonna have to buy a whole new pump because they do not sell this particular um, filter by itself. And if they do sell it by itself, you may not have the model that has the outlet on the side. All the newer models have the outlet on top. So I'll show that to you as I show you the, uh, the other pump I just bought. So yeah, so this is all the filter part. This is where it snapped. Right there. That's where I showed you. This is where I was telling you that they don't sell this separately because this outlet right here that goes into this filter, it comes up. It comes up from the top of the motor now if you buy it separately. So you have to buy it all in one piece. So right now, I think I'm just gonna use this particular piece since this is the only thing that snapped. I'm gonna attach it to the old uh, motor and filter um, so I can get the most use out of that. And then once that goes out, then I have a whole brand new, whole new setup. So I think that's more bang for the buck, right? What do you think? Let me know in the comments. So this is for above ground pool. This is waterway. They just delivered it. It's a three quarter horsepower. RPM is 3,450, um, 115 volts. Um, this should be pumping like so many i think it's like i'll get the specific numbers i don't want to talk out of my ass but i think what they said was like about 345 to 3000 that's why i said i don't want to talk in my ass um gallons per hour and i think it's 3000 it's up in the 3000s but i'll make sure i get that I'm trying to see if there's any information on that Okay, I'll show you when I'm finished. Okay, here's my lovely pool out here in the damn desert. Gotta clean up some of this area around it. Anyway, the dock is being built. Uh, I'm not gonna show you that dirty ass water. It's dirty because we just had a, a dust storm come through. So here we go. So as you can see, here's the motor, here's the filter. Here's this piece that busted. Bam. So there you go. So I think I'm just going to replace this for the time being. And then uh, because this is all still good. And then once this wears out, then I have a whole new setup. Okay, so you're going to attach this first. And then you're going to come in. And put the adapter, tighten it up, make sure you put your plumber's tape up, and tighten it, tape, tighten it all the way. Then you're gonna attach your hose fitting, okay? Make sure you get it all nice and tight. And then just tighten up. Clamp. Okay. So everything's going. No leaks. Everything's connected. This is where it broke. You see the water's flowing in there. Water's on. Pressure's around 15 psi. 